Hi Capricorn, it's Ear Patsy and I'm here to do your love bite for the time period between now and the middle of uh, September or whenever I get to you all. So sorry this is so late, I've been very busy. I had originally done uh, all of the love bites for all of the signs um, on a live a week or so ago and it didn't upload to YouTube. So only the people who were in the room at the time were able to get those messages. So please subscribe and uh, like and share these videos and hit the notification button so that when I do go live you will be able to get that notification and you'll be part of the energies in the room at that time. And um, unfortunately when I tried to upload it it didn't upload to YouTube so those of you who weren't there missed out on those messages. But I did want to give you your readings because I love everybody and it's not your fault um, that you and I have YouTube and I are having technical difficulties so I wanted to give you your readings and this month we're going to be using the uh, Barbieri Zodiac Oreo right by Barbara Moore all right and this is the card that depicts Capricorn all right we're going to be I'm going to be breaking each uh, this reading down into each of the elements, air, uh, earth, fire, and water. All right, so this is the depiction for the element of air. Air would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So those of you who are involved with people who are air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this part of the reading is for you. Please feel free to timestamp it if you'd like, okay? So, using the Romance Angel Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue and the um, Mermaids and Dolphins Deck also by Doreen Virtue. And we're going to be using the uh, Wisdom of the Oracle Deck by Colette Baron reed All right, she also is the author of the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms and Postcards from Spirit, all right? So, to the bottom of the deck, the Romance Angel Oracle deck for you was True Love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So, you're involved with an air sign. The message is that it is safe for you to love. Okay, open your heart to receive the highest energy of all past life relationships. You've known each other before. Release your ex, which was in the reverse. So it's telling me that you and this person may have been seeing each other in the past and you or they have not been able to release themselves from this energy from thinking about this relationship. Next card, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there may be things that went on between you and this air sign that you or they need to learn and forgive one another for so that you can enjoy reigniting this relationship with this person that you have never been able to let go of who's been in your thoughts and the last card is let your friends help you ask for and accept the help of others so this could be talking about your friends here in the 3d who uh, maybe they know this person also okay but if not it's talking about your soul team your divine guidance, your spiritual guidance, the creator, your ancestors. Ask them to help you in this relationship, okay? Ask them to release any blockages to you and this person getting together to help you all work on whatever those issues are that you need to heal in order for you to go forth and enjoy this romance of a lifetime. From the Mermaids and Dolphins, the first card here was empowerment. You are more powerful than you realize 
and it is safe for you to be powerful. This fell on top of it is safe for you to love. So this is telling me that this relationship, Capricorn, you and this air sign is very empowering. And it's safe for you to go forward with your relationship. Okay? Next card, self-employment. So this could be someone that you work with or someone you met through your business contacts, all right, in the past. All right, but this situation be it at work or your own business or working with someone else for other people, this is an, a magical opportunity that's being presented to you for you to get back together with this person. Watch your thoughts. It's important for you to ask, to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. So this fell on top of the release your ex that was in the reverse. So this is saying that whatever these things are that are hindering you from reassociating re yourself with this ex, okay? Don't worry about what you're afraid of or the past issues, okay? Focus on what you desire. Focus on this love, all right? The next card that fell here was mother healing, okay? As you forgive as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So, and this fell on top of forgiving and learning. So, maybe there's something about this relationship with this person that has to do with issues that you may have had, you or they may have had, with their own mother, with their relationship with their mother, or your relationship with your mother. And the more that you release that negativity or deal with those feelings that you have towards your mother, the faster you do that, the, more, the quicker you will be able to reconnect and manifest what it is that you want in the proper way without holding any resentments that may have caused you to break up with this person in the past. And... Next card was stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. All right? So that fell on top of let your friends help you. And also, the next card that fell with that, giving you a sixth card here, was stay optimistic and rest. All right? So you've been working very hard. Take a nap and get some rest. So I think it's telling you to release this, pray about it, ask the divine to step in and help you, stay optimistic about that, and then rest. Don't worry about this anymore. You have the power to bring this relationship back to where you want it to be, and all you have to do is work on forgiving yourself, whatever those family issues were, if they have to do with your mother or their mother or some authoritative female figure, all right, um, and stay optimistic and get some rest. Ask your divine guidance to step in from the wisdom of the oracle, number 10, unfinished symphony. So, this is, this fell on top of it's safe for you to love and empowerment. So this is saying that this relationship between you is, you and this air sign is not over. Okay. This is something that is going to be uplifting for you and for them. All right. This is something that's not finished, but is safe for you to go towards this relationship now. Number 36, come to the edge. Three and six is nine. So nine is the number of the ancestors of your angle, okay? This is saying go to the edge. Take a chance. Take a chance. Renewing this past life relationship. This is an opportunity that you've been given after all that you've been through to start over. They're telling you to take a chance, have faith. 
that they have you, that they will protect you, that they are supporting you. Next card here, number one, Yang, okay? So this is about you. This is about you and this person completing each other or being a perfect fit for one another. Opposites attract. This person may be your opposite. It's telling you to watch your thoughts, all right? Because you have not been able to get past this relationship, all right? Because this person completes you, okay? This is your other half. <clears throat> Don't be afraid of this relationship. This is what you want. If you want it, you can have it. You just have to take a chance. The next card that came here for you was number 19, flexible. So, again, be open-minded, okay? This fell on top of forgiving and learning and mother healing. So, be open to this healing, to forgiving, to learning, okay? Be flexible, all right? Be open, watch your thoughts, stay optimistic. And the last card here was number 33, chaos and conflict. So there may have been problems with communications maybe between you and this person or you and your mother, okay? Maybe misunderstandings, all right, that led to you all um, not being able to get past some issues that you've had, all right? You may have been uh, hearing some chaos. You may have been getting messages about some conflict that you may have had with this person. But it's telling you to be optimistic that you be able to put these issues to rest if you pray about it. There is a healing in this relationship for you and this air sign. So Capricorn, those are the messages Spirit had for you in regards to relationship with this air sign in your life. So I hope those messages resonated with you. And we're going to move on to our next element, which would be Earth. Okay, so going to try to I'm going to pause this while I shuffle and then I'll be right back <laughs> 